And welcome back inside the ballpark. Mike Moss, we've awoken you from hibernation. Yes, you have. It's Tin Chet in season 12, episode number one. You know the man. He's Mike Moss. I'm Justin Prince. Mike, it's great to see you. We've missed you for the last few months. Great to be back at the ballpark and, and having baseball going once again. Yeah, I am really looking forward to this year. It is uh, year 23 as an employee, year 22 as a broadcaster, be it Wizards and or Tin Caps. And as you said, it's year 12 getting to uh, do chin chatting. But uh, in spite of uh, especially where we are right now, and it's a bit of the chilly side, Mother Nature has thrown a couple of temper tantrums the last couple of days. Uh, it's great to be back out. Great to see the team up uh, from Arizona. Uh, a lot of familiar faces, but uh, it is time for baseball. You know, football, basketball, they can all take a rest. Uh, let's uh, let's have some fun talking some baseball. Yeah, absolutely. And it is a much anticipated year for this Fort Wayne Tin Cavs team, Mike. Uh, 22 guys were on this roster a year ago that are already here in Fort Wayne. Uh, we'll talk about some of the faces here in, in a moment, but this is a group, Mike, that a lot of these guys were on that playoff team a year ago, so there's some excitement, there's some expectation for this group coming into this season, uh, and, and what may lie ahead for this team. I think the fact that the great second half, getting into the playoffs, getting a taste of postseason baseball, uh, even at this level, and having so many of these guys that are here now having a taste of that, and the experience factor, I think it's going to bode very well for the upcoming season. Mike, there are some big name faces on this roster this year. Five guys in the Padres' top 30 on this roster already. Of course, headlined by Ethan Salas at catcher and Dylan Lesko at pitcher. And it is amazing. We had uh, Ethan Salas here for nine games last year. Yeah, nine. That's it. And then they moved him up to Double A San Antonio, and the missions made the playoffs in the Texas League as well. But Ethan is only 17 years old. Yeah. And I, I wish I were 17 again, and that, that was decades ago for me. But he's talented. Yeah, he is. And th there's a reason why he's one of the top prospects in baseball, period, not just from the catcher position, but as a baseball athlete and already. And the Tin Caps have only, unfortunately, played just four games due to the weather. But he's hitting just under 300. He's already stolen a couple of bases. He's thrown, he's thrown out a couple of play, uh, yeah. base runners. And he's learning more and more about handling a pitching staff. And the question is, how long will he be here? Yeah, and hey, speaking of Ethan Salas, Mike, he did get a chance to sit down with John Nolan, one of the other play-by-play -play voices of the Fort Wayne Tin Caps. Here's some of that interview courtesy of John. John Nolan, Ethan Salas. Ethan, thanks for a little bit of time here. It's been about a week at Parkview Field when the Tin Caps last year now gearing up for opening day. What do you think of the ballpark here? Oh, it's the best ballpark I've, I've played in so far. I mean, one of the best in, in minor league baseball for sure. And just excited to call this place home for the, for the season. Yeah, looking back now at spring training, you had some time in big league camps. You competed in the spring breakout prospect showcase, even a couple exhibition games with the Padres out in San Diego at Petco. What would you take away from those experiences? No, Big League Camp was, was awesome. I learned a lot. Got to meet a bunch of guys. Uh, definitely definitely uh, the trailer for, for hopefully my career, but I had a lot of fun, learned a lot, picked up a lot of new things, and just really grateful for, the, for those opportunities. Yeah, I like that analogy. So you were there with some of the main characters. Uh, what did you learn from uh, some of those guys you were around? No, just some of those dudes, just like how to be in a clubhouse, like how, how to play the game hard every day, like how those guys prepare themselves. And ultimately, just like getting to learn know them as like people, I think it's going to be huge. For sure, yeah. So now looking ahead to this season, what are you excited about? Winning, winning. Uh, can't wait to be here in Parkview every day, call this place home, and just uh, dominate, go out there and win games, have fun. All right, appreciate John for sending us that interview. Uh, it, it's always great to hear from some of these guys. Great to get a little bit of a look inside a little bit of their lives. And, and Mike, now we move on to another highly rated prospect in this Padres organization that's here this year. We talked about him just a second ago. It was Dylan Lesko, uh, a guy who was here at the end of the year last year, showed some flashes of some very good stuff. So a, a guy that they are looking to be the ace of this 10 cap staff for as long as he's going to be here this year. Yeah, and he's got all the tools. Yes, he does. He's got all the pitch. It's just a matter of a little bit of refinement. Uh, Lesko has to learn, too, what pitches to throw in what situation. 
and uh, I think is going to do well. It's just the experience factor. Yeah, and Mike, the guy leading this roster is a new one. Uh, Mike Daly, the newest manager for the Fort Wayne Tin Caps. Uh, his first year in the Summit City coming this year. Uh, I've had a lot of great interactions with him. I know the guys really like him so far, and uh, it's exciting to have another new face down in the dugout. He's wearing more than one hat. Yeah, he is. He wanted to try his luck at managing, and he requested from his bosses a chance to come here to Fort Wayne, which is a feather in Fort Wayne's cap. He still is the assistant director of player development for the San Diego Padres. Okay. But he's trying his luck, he loves baseball, but now he's getting a taste of what running a team is like, where there's a new coaching staff as well across the board, new pitching coach, hitting coach, bench coach, and uh, so forth. And he's gonna try to learn the tricks of the trade of what a manager has to do. So it's gonna be fun watching Mike handle this team. It's, I'm looking forward to uh, getting uh, some periodic interviews with them myself. and. Uh, it's nice to see some new faces. Yeah, absolutely is. Uh, Mike, the Tin Caps this week have, as of right now, four games left heading into the weekend after, of course, tonight being Thursday. Yeah. Uh, four games for the rest of the week. They've got a, a game on Friday, a doubleheader Saturday, game on Sunday, and then they hit the road for the second time. We head to Dayton next week. Yes, and the uh, Dayton Dragons, as we are putting this together, three and two on the young season. They had a great start last year. Uh, had some troubles at, uh, troubles at the end, but Dayton and Fort Wayne have always had some great games. And uh, again, that's a chance for the Tin Caps. We utilize this word bonding in all sports. Yeah. When you're on the road, you get a chance to be together and bond and learn more about each other so that you can work better together. And uh, it'll be the first six game series yeah. uh, on the road next week up in Dayton. But uh, Hopefully, A, we can finish this series at home against Lake County and then go to Dayton and uh, let's see where we go after that. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, three more games here for the rest of this week. We've got two games on Saturday, first pitch 105. Then on Sunday, just one game for you guys. But, Mike, uh, looking forward to another fun-filled year. Uh, let's do this a handful more times for well, us. I sure Stop. hope so. And, as again, we'll also try to re uh, uh, and let the uh, viewers see various parts of this beautiful facility. We've been able to do it for 11 years, yeah. and I'm looking forward now to year number 12, and we'll see if we can find some new nook and crannies here at Parkview Field. Absolutely. That's going to do it for this edition of Tin Chat. And as always, he's Mike. I'm Justin. We're back same time, same place next week. We'll be right back after this break.